Hello and welcome to this how to tutorial of coming into your binds from a twist. So essentially, you want to be thinking shoulder up, shoulder back, and shoulder down. We're going to begin with shoulder flossing to loosen the shoulders. So first draw your arms out, bring your thumbs in towards your palms, and then just wrap your fingers around your thumbs. As you inhale, draw your arms up. As you exhale, let your shoulders relax down. And then inhale, draw your arms out, rotate, have the back of your hands facing forward, and then exhale, bring your arms down. And then simply go in reverse, inhale, bringing your arms up, exhale, letting the shoulders relax down, and then inhale, bringing the arms out in front of you. Now, if you have a strap, you can use the strap. It's just slightly different with the strap. So bring your arms out again, having your arms parallel to the floor. Inhale, draw your arms up just as you did. Exhale, let your shoulders relax. But now take as much slack as you comfortably can from the strap and draw your arms back behind you, keeping your arms straight as you do so. Inhaling, bringing your arms back up. Exhale, let the shoulders relax down and then draw again your arms out in front of you. You can do this as many times as you'd like to loosen the shoulders. Now from here, think of taking your right hand and bringing it to your low back. Then bring your shoulder up, draw your shoulder back, and start to guide your elbow closer towards your side body. Now if your shoulder's open, you'll notice that your hand will start to move to your side body. Now from here, Take your left hand and start to rotate. Use a little bit of resistance, keeping the spine long as you do so. And then come back to center. Now, if you find for yourself that when you bring your hand, the elbow comes out to the side, just keep working with this. Bringing the shoulder up, bringing the shoulder back, and then bringing the shoulder down. In time, as the shoulder begins to open, you will find that your hand will start to come by your side body. Taking now your right hand, start to rotate, and again, keep thinking shoulder up, shoulder back, and shoulder down. And then come back to center. Now from here, coming into your twist, take your right leg and cross it over. You can keep your leg out in front of you, or if you notice that both of the sit bones can stay equally pressed down on your mat, you can have your heel beside you instead. Guide though your knee closer in towards you, whether your leg is straight or not. You have the option of taking your hand, wrapping your elbow, and think again, shoulder up, shoulder back, and shoulder down. Taking your hand by your sacrum, or starting to guide your hand again to the inside of your torso here. You may find that as you twist, the hand can get a little closer towards your belly button. Now come back, counter twist, Still keep the spine long. Or you can take your arm, wrap it around, take the elbow instead, shoulder up, shoulder down, and start to twist. Bring again your hand, rotating, and guiding your hand to the side of your torso. Now, if you're going to come into the bind to explore, take now your arm to the inside. So the left arm is going to slide through the space between the legs. Same thing, draw the shoulder up, bring the shoulder back, and then bring your hands towards each other. Keep again the spine long, and begin to twist. Come back to center, and again a counter twist. Now you may find for yourself that you can take your hand to your wrist. So let's try on the other side, bringing again the leg out, guiding it in, either remaining here, or bringing the heel back behind you, wrapping your arm around your leg, or bringing your elbow to the outside, or guiding your arm to the inside. Now, as you bring your arm towards the inside, again, think shoulder up, shoulder back, shoulder down. Hands are either gonna come, or you're gonna take your hand to your wrist. You can bring your thumb, and then start to draw down, breathing here. Stay with the breath. And release, counter twist, and back to center. 
So just continue to practice shoulder up, shoulder back, and shoulder down, keeping the chest open and broad, using either the strap or bringing your arms out in front for shoulder flossing. Another thing that you can do is just start to draw in. And as you draw in, lift up slightly so you have a nice stretch between your shoulder blades. And then think about lifting up, bringing the shoulders again, guiding the shoulder blades towards each other and drawing the heart forward. And as you do these movements, you're gonna notice that the shoulder will begin to loosen. And then you can explore going deeper into the bind, either by again, having the hands come to touch or bringing your hand to your wrist. So I wish you all the best with this. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to let me know. You can just place any comment below the video and I will definitely take a read of it and respond. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.